Good day mga Kabayan Techers, this is your Kabayan Tech and today we are going to do a 12 mini BMS refresh and battery replacement. But before we begin, help my channel grow by clicking on the subscribe button. Thank you very much. So we have an iPhone 12 mini here with an important battery message and 77%. Things that we need is a third party battery. We have the i2C Tag on Flex, the new battery cell, and also the i2C programmer. But while we are watching removing the battery from the phone, just a disclaimer, I'm just sharing this one to you from all the comments that I got from different groups on how to resolve the issue when it comes to the important battery message. I am still learning and growing as a technician. If you have your own way or method, I respect that, but this is the method that works for me. And I hope that it will help some of the other technicians or beginner technicians like me to resolve their own issue. So the first issue that I got was just programming the battery for iPhone 11 and above and using a programmer. Since those phones, they have what you call an encrypted chip on the BMS, even if you try to program it directly, it would not change the battery health or the cycle because of the encrypted chip. And you need a tag on flex for that one. As you may see on this I2C, I change it up and still it will show up the same value as 77%. So this didn't work. My issue number two is I transferred the BMS from the old battery directly to the new battery cell and then that's the time that I reprogram it. As you may see, it still shows service. It will say 100, but the important battery message is still there. And I was scratching my head on how to resolve this issue. So number three, I didn't took out or take out the BMS from the original battery. Instead, I put in the tag on flex and put it on the programmer. Unfortunately for the I2C programmer, even if you have the tag on flex, it won't let you program it. For whatever reason, I don't know. And some people will say, why not use JC? I don't have the tag on flex at the moment. So I was trying to resolve it like this. Okay? So the solution that worked for me is using the original battery with the tag on flex and going to the desktop software. I did do and change the battery health to 105 and write it first. And then after that, I didn't change the cycle. I took out the original battery with the programmed flex. And I put in a third-party battery to refresh the iPhone 12 mini. Plug the charger. And I wait for the important battery message to show up. So that it will refresh the phone. Then I turned off the phone again take out the third-party battery or a different battery and I put in the original battery with the program I2C tag on flex plug the charger wait for it to turn on and I wait for the important battery message to disappear and once that one happens when I go on to battery health it will show you a hundred percent and there's no more important battery message from and it worked for me so step two is I want to zero out the cycle. So I connected it again to my desktop software. You might see it's a 1,234 for the battery cycle. I change it to one and then I write it again. You might notice that the battery health is still 105. It didn't change that. So after we write the new information for the cycle, Read the information again and you might notice that the information that you encoded is saved on the tag on. We remove the tag on, then we repeat again the refresh of the phone. Reason why we're doing this, so that the cycle will also be refreshed. So when you read it on Trio Tools, it will show the new cycle count. Just wait for the important battery message to come out, turn it off again, remove the third-party battery or the battery, then put in the old battery again, and wait for the important battery message to disappear. Once that one is done, then we proceed with the next steps. 
Let's take out the old battery. Now we are going to proceed with replacing the actual battery cell. We're not done yet. Then we take out all the adhesive coverings. Once we're done, we cut off the connector that connects the battery and the BMS and trim it. I use a double-sided captain tape. This is optional, but that's how I set up my battery. I put in the battery cell or the BMS board on top of the battery. Then I cut the first uh, connector and I fold it. Then once I fold it, I take out my Kianli spot welder and set it to power 2 and spot weld. Then for the next connector, I cut it again and then weld it with still power number 2 on the Kianli weld spot welder machine. Now it's done, I unroll the double-sided captain tape. Then I put the first mylar tape cover for additional protection. Make sure that it covers until the back and nothing is exposed. Then the last step is to actually put in the longer side captain uh, mylar tape where the two longer sides will be stick at the two sides at the back and then the rest will be unclamped. After that, I grab the, new, I grab the phone and put in the new battery cell with the tag on flex. And I connect it to a power cable. Once that one turns on, make sure that you have all the adhesives for the battery. You might notice that the battery health is still 100. So this is just an add-on video, a 12 mini battery replacement. And you might notice we did the refresh twice. Reason for that is to refresh for the first one, the battery health, and the second one for the cycle count. So you will see here that I left the tag on flex and I leave it all the time. And reason for that is when we go on 3U tools, it will read the tag on flex with the right information for the battery life and the cycle count. So if you have any comments, suggestions, or videos that you want me to do in the future, kindly write them down below. Again, Thank you very much and 